Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are going to learn how we can model helical gear shaft in Gadia V5. So, sorry, uh, it's it's a very uh, common CAD model. You know, uh, you might be knowing this. Uh, a lot of uh, other tutorials have done this. So, I'm gonna do this today for you and. We're gonna see how we can. Let's start with the YZ plane. Sketch. Gonna take a circle. 100 dia. Okay. And then we're gonna take a line of 15. Make sure this line is symmetric. After that, we're gonna take a three point arc, start it from here to here. And the radius for this one is 65. Further, dimension of this line from this axis is 85. And this one goes mirrored with this axis. After that, this distance and this distance is 40. Once all is it's done, select all these profile. Go for rotation uh, yeah 5 and the angle will be 60 degrees yeah make sure these all points are coinciding so have to make it sure otherwise there will be some problem when you when you when you trim this part there will be some problem so to avoid that we're gonna fix the point on this circle see there is a gap so it's gonna fix it Once uh, this coincidence part is done, select your all of this sketch, which are not fully constrained. So basically, we are gonna fix this one. Fix, and then select the trim tool. Okay, trim off these things. <clears throat> so now our sketch one is done. We're gonna exit the workbench. You see, there is two circles here, it means they are not coinciding. I need to fix it see this extra part okay let's try coinciding yeah it worked it worked <coughs> yeah sketch one is done let's see what we have to do next let's define the plane uh, yz axis okay 
Now we're gonna sketch on the new generated plane. We have to select the whole sketch and then to project 3D elements. Then we are going to scale it 7.5. Okay. Mm. Now we have to delete the projected one and select the rotate one and uh, show the duplicate mode is off. Select the sketch, go for rotation and select the sketch. Okay, so once all your three sketches are done, so we are gonna use the multi section solid and uh, we're gonna do the <coughs> multi section using all the three sketches which we did before. And uh, so I just select it and press OK. It's very easy, nothing complicated. So after that, uh, we will select one of the faces and draw a circle with uh, four, circles, four circles actually then we are going to do the dimensions for each of them so we need to define the uh, dimensions for all the circles So next we have to create a multi pad. So we're gonna use the multi pad option for giving the uh, length of all the circles. So basically padding all the circles. Uh, so we have four circles. So four different padding uh, definitions will give. It's very easy. Also, nothing. Just follow the video. You can get it. I think you have to make sure it is which circle you are selecting and what dimension you are giving. So for me, I think it's uh, if you get some confusion, just check it once more. Uh, so yeah, this one is the perfect uh, dimension for the padding. Once done with that, we have to draw another profile. <coughs> So this profile we are going to draw and then we have to make sure it's coincident and we are basically giving it a groove so we are taking a semi semicircle with uh, some radius and after completing this sketch can exit it then we can go for groove so it's like a sketch and the axis the groove will be done simple once the groove is done we'll select the back back uh, back face of the gear so basically the YZ, YZ plane and then we are going to draw a few more circles ok now we have uh, to draw a profile uh, so just take a line make sure it is uh, it is uh, symmetric with the x axis. So, after that, uh, give it a dimension from y axis. Then, we need a circle over here. So, we'll draw a circle, then, we'll give the dimension for the circle. Then, we'll join this line and this circle. 
so like this and uh, then we can say miss mirror it or you can try it one more after that we have to we have to circular pattern it so we can do it in a different many different ways but I uh, think to select the lines and go for rotation select the center and give the instances as per your wish so it looks uh, fine for me you can do uh, you can fix the new uh, rotated uh, sketch so that it gets fully constrained we did it earlier so no need of explanation I think. so after that trim the excess part okay so once the fix is done we could uh, exit the workbench and then define the padding for this sketch and before that you have to make sure that you delete the circle part circular part so you see this part we have to pad so we forgot to do the trim so we are gonna do it now perfect pad now you see I have made a mistake it should be on the other side of the groove so to make it uh, work out I'll draw another circle on the end part of the groove and then give it a pad so you see in this figure it is uh, that that slot is after the groove so after padding it we have to move the slot part into that so just go for padding adjust your uh, the length of the pad so that it goes on to that part so like this you, c you don't need to do it like this way you can make it uh, the first part itself so you don't have to do the first limit and second limit in dimension so after this I don't think it's uh, it's done and that's it for this video of helical gear I hope you guys like it now I try to render it in using applying material and all so you can see oh, how I played with the different stuff of applying material to rendering and uh, if you have any notes make sure to comment down below and uh, like it also subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next video thank you so much peace